So hi friends, today we will discuss a topic how to find the compilation error of a COBOL program. So you have written a COBOL program. Now there are some mistakes which I have deliberately put it here so that you understand how to fix them. So first of all, after writing the program, we have to compile it. So I'll take the program name. Program name is Sam PGM2. <clears throat> I will go to the compiler JCL, which is this one. So here I'm using a catalog proc. Inside that proc, uh, the uh, compilation steps are there. The compilation and the linkage steps are there. I'm not showing that. Uh, so inside this catalog proc, which is present in this library, the steps are present. So I will just put the program name. I think it is already there. So I will just <clears throat> submit the compilation GCL. So you can see Maxis is 12. Maxis is 12. That means there are some compilation errors in this program. So if I go there, last one, if I go to the last step, COBOL, if I go to end, go to the end of the page, you can see you have to always come to the COBOL part, <coughs> COBOL tab. At the end, you will always see some messages getting generated. So this total means the total number of messages, total number of what messages, including informational, warning, error, and severe. These four messages, informational messages, you can ignore. Warning messages also you can ignore. But error message and severe message you have to fix. Okay. Now, if you are compiling a COBOL program and you don't have any of these four messages, no informational, no warning, no error, no severe, then max is will be zero. That means successful compilation. If you are compiling a program, you have you don't have any error or severe message, but you have at least one warning message. That time Maxis will be four. When do you have warning messages? When you are not following some COBOL coding standard, you are not giving proper spaces, you are not following the coding standard, that time you'll get warning message, you'll get Maxis four, but that is okay. The compilation is successful with some warning, that is okay, you can ignore that. But whenever you have <clears throat> error message and severe message, you have to fix. If you don't have any severe message, but you have only error message. You may have warning message, may not have, but if you have at least one error message, but no severe message, that time maxis will be eight. That means the compilation has failed. If you have at least one severe message, you may have warning, may have uh, error message, you may not have also, but if you have at least one severe message, you will get maxis 12. So that is severe error. <clears throat> okay, now, here I will show you how to fix the errors. So uh, as we can see, we have seven error messages and two severe messages. So we have to find out what those error messages are and uh, what those severe messages are. So if you go, if you just look above here, you can see some numbers are getting generated and, and on the right hand side, some messages are getting generated. <clears throat> okay, so this is a number which will generate. These are auto generated numbers always. So hyphen E will mean this is an error message. Hyphen S means it is severe message. Similarly, hyphen E, then hyphen E, hyphen S. So hyphen E error, error message, hyphen S means severe message. If you have hyphen uh, W, it will mean warning message. <coughs> If you have hyphen i, it will mean informational message. Now on the left hand side, you can see some line IDs are uh, line IDs have got generated. Okay, some line IDs, uh, line IDs are generated. Which are these line IDs? These are not the program line IDs, not the actual program line IDs. That means it is not this line one, line two, line three. Sorry, not this one. This main program line one, line two, not that one. You have to check this line ID is inside this same tab only wherever where you are currently present inside here only you can see this line ID is so what you can do is you can just go to the top MF7 come down F8 again F8 again F8 just come to the position where the program starts see the program starts from here identification division so this is the first line of the program here the max is one sorry it is the first line of the program here the line number is one pardon me line number is one so 
here these line edits i was talking about which you saw below here the code exact code which you have written will come but in an expanded format if you are using any copybook you are using any sql ca which is system defined copybook for db2 everything will be expanded here okay but since in our program we don't have any copybook or anything for each and every line there will be one line id generated so identification division line number one after this only we can see there is an error hyphen e means error a program id paragraph was not found program name cbl name 01 was assumed this is some default name of a program but program id paragraph was not found what is program id now if you have studied the COBOL uh, thoroughly, we know that in COBOL program, identification division is a mandatory division. Identification division and procedure division, these two are mandatory. Data division, environment division, these are optional based on scenarios we use. Whenever we have to, we use. Otherwise, we don't use. Now, inside identification division, we have few things. Program ID author date written date compiled installation out of which program id is mandatory that is the name of the program so immediately after identification division the second line of a cobol program should always be the program id okay and these are all keywords identification division data division procedure division this initialize display stop run value peak program id these are all keywords these these always should come in red color each and every keyword will always come in red color functions keywords <clears throat> this will always come in red color but if you see this example we don't have it in red color it is coming in coming in green so in a cobol program we have multiple colors by the colors only we can differentiate we can identify whether the program is correct or not program id the second line of a program should be program id it is not coming in red color that means there is something wrong so if you look closely i have not written the m it is there is some spelling mistake program id so there is some spelling mistake these things may happen in real time i am not telling that this is a major thing but while writing these these things may happen so we should understand how to fix them obviously by looking at the program you can find out few few of the errors but few of the errors you will not be able to find out just by looking at the program you have to go to the spool you have to see the error because you may have very big programs in real time in your project a thousand line two thousand line three thousand four thousand five thousand lines that time if you compile if you get compilation error there may be hundreds of variables which are getting used in the program you will not be able to understand from where it is coming unless and until you look at the spool okay so always remember in a cobol program the functions or keywords should always come in red color the commented lines should always come in pale blue color the strings whichever you write within single quotes should always come in white color and the other user inputs should always come in green color so same thing goes with jcl also in jcl also keywords jcl statements those things should come in red color user input should come in green commented lines should come in pale blue and strings should come in white color and special characters also you have see special characters means i am talking about the period full stop okay full stops are coming in yellow color in jcl also whenever we use bracket uh, this comma ampersand full stop all these things will come in yellow color so five different colors are there so here i can see that there is a color difference so there's something wrong here so let me write it here m so program idc immediately let me come in <clears throat> edit mode so program id sam pgm2 okay now program id has come in red color so it's fine so a program id paragraph was not found so i have corrected it it's done next is in line number two again there is one more error program id should not begin in area a now what is area a we have two areas in cobol program area a and area b area b area a means the lines which start at position number eight area b means the lines which start at position number 12. now which of the star, uh, lines should start at position number eight 
all the divisions, all the parameters under division, level number, paragraph, hmm, sections, all these things should start in position number eight, which is area A. And all the COBOL logics which come under procedure division should start at position number 12. Those are area B uh, things.